In this presentation, I'm going to show how to mount and unmount a COM board. First of all, make sure you operate in an ESD safe environment. Use uh, an anti-static mat like this, and you have a wrist strap that is connected to the mat also. So, before we uh, uh, mount the board, the COM board, make sure there is no dust on the, um, on the gold fingers. When you insert the board in about 45 degrees angle, you will notice we, uh, the angle that is uh, suitable. And when you push in, you can also use maybe your fingers like that to push in. And you can, uh, you should make sure that it is evenly um, inserted. And you can, by observing the gold finger uh, uh, line here, you can see that it is equal equally inserted in both ends. Now, as a first step, push down the, the board. Only push in the corners. Push equally in both corners, like this. Then you take one screw and you start with the inner, uh, with the inner holes like this. And then you uh, screw down. Keep uh, pressing down. Don't fully tighten the screw, just, uh, just till you get some resistance. Then you take the next screw like that. Be careful so you don't uh, press anywhere else with the screw. Uh, now again, don't tighten it completely just uh, when you get resistance. Just stop. Now you don't need to press in the corners anymore. Then you take the rest of the screws, do like this, stop when you get some resistance, and then you take the final corner like this. Now you tighten them a little bit more in a cross pattern, a little bit more like that, a little bit more like this, a little bit more like this, a little bit more like this. You can use a, a, a screwdriver uh, uh, that can measure the torque also, but it's not necessary. But don't use too much um, torque because that will damage the PCB and it, uh, the board will uh, malfunction. Now, under no circumstances, press in the middle of the board because that will damage, it, it can easily damage the, the pr processor and, and memories. This is also important if you consider mounting a heat sink on the processor. You must design the heat transfer management system so that the heat sink doesn't push down on the processor when the temperature increases. Use some kind of a spring-loaded screw so that the heatsink has a constant pressure to the processor top side, even if some of the materials expand a little bit when the temperature increases. Alternatively, use a thermal interface material that is a little bit thicker and designed to absorb material uh, expansion due to uh, temperature increases. Mm -hmm. That was how you mount the board. Now, it's time to unmount the board, and then you just do it in the opposite, um, the, uh, the opposite order. You start with the corners, and you keep pressing down in the corners so that there is no pressure building up in the board, or uh, maybe pressure isn't the right word. Tension is uh, what we sh should avoid at all costs. So keep pressing down in these fingers while unscrewing like this. Then take the screw. Yeah, we can take that later on. And then you just release like that evenly and then you remove it like that and then of course you can remove the screw also so 
Now you know how to mount and un unmount the COM board safely. Of course, also when you're done, remember to put this in an ESD bag immediately or store it in an ESD safe environment. Thank you.